Good morning. and welcome to Let's Go Live. It's episode 28, Mini Make a Week. I'm Maddie. And I am Greg. And all together now, we, we are, are live. live. You can join us here in our spare room weekday mornings at 11 a.m. Yep. You sure can. Today's show is all about sound. 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 We've, we've tried to harmonise. <laughs> Stay really, with us. We won't, we won't keep doing that, we promise. It really work. Uh, it's all about sound. We've got a quiz for <laughs> you. It's really fun. Uh, we've got fun and facts. And of course, we've got some um, <laughs> melodious musical mix nice. for you to, uh, to tinker with. Uh-huh. Um, but this show is all about you. The makes are for you to try at home. Uh, if you're with us live right now, give us a thumbs up. Say hello in the live chat. And if you're catching up with us later, thank you so much for joining us. Um, let's see who's said hello to us. Who do we have? We have Emily in Worthy Down. Hiya. Hello, we have uh, Luca and Inari in Hornchurch. Lovely, we've got uh, Rosie and Penny in Yates. Hello. Uh, we've got Eden and Rose in London. Hi. Hiya, uh, Maylie in Cheltenham. Hello. Uh, we've got Yaya in Saudi Arabia. Uh, Ned and Jemima in Berkshire. Uh, Stanley and Alfred from Derbyshire for the first time. Hello. Hello, <laughs> um, hey, welcome. Emerson in Tunbridge Wells and Laurie in Neath. Uh, oh, crikey, we've got loads. Evan, loads. Jess in East Yorkshire. Caleb uh, and Lois. <laughs> Everybody. We could do the whole show like that. Hello. Yeah, we Keep them do. coming in though. We love we love hearing from you. Um, this week is Mini Makers Week. Yes, it's a collaboration with our maker friends at the Life Science Centre in Newcastle. And we have designed, built and tinkered our way through five days of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday we showed you how to make uh, three different boats in mm. our float episode uh, and once again you just made us so proud you did they we were amazing. are we really are so proud um, we've got a couple of videos to show you actually uh, this first one is uh, of edward and edward made his own paddle boat here we go <laughs> well done <laughs> <laughs> it was so, so happy to see it working. And it did. Well done. Uh, next video is, uh, this came in from Alice, who uh, named her boat something brilliant, if I do say so myself. Hmm. The moat boat. The moat boat. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> the bath water brilliant. looks pink as well. Maybe it was it a does. fun bath oh. bomb used or something. Oh. Love that moat boat. Brilliant. Uh, oh, next one. Uh, uh, this is Isla and Emily. Now, they made their own paddle boat, but they thought theirs also tells a story. So watch this. The boat to explore on the pirate islands. The boat Look out exploring the pirate islands. <laughs> they sent their crew to explore some pirate islands. And oh, then it crashes into giant crash, turtles. Giant turtle on pirate <laughs> island. Ah! Um, but it wasn't just paddle tubs we showed you how to make yesterday. There are a whole bunch of different builds. Um, let's just see a couple of photos. Uh, this is Dexter um, with another paddle boat called Moti McBoatface. Oh, Love clever. what you did there. Nice. This is what happens when you have a name that rhymes with boats. Um, it floated really well and kept Rex Danger Vest and Hot Dog Man dry. Mm. This is Noah and Nell. They tried the density experiment, uh, but they put the water in after the oil so you can see the bubbles from where it's sinking down. Ah, cool. Nice experimenting. This is Isaac with his density column. He got five layers and did a really good job at getting them so clear. Look at that, that must have taken patience. Whoa, that is such an impressive job. Uh, this is Avram. Use an empty pickle jar and put in a broccoli stalk, a piece of celery, a dry pasta swirl and lots of other things to see where they would float. And this is Neve, who managed to get eight layers in her density column. She found that milk and washing up liquid mix a little bit, which means they probably have similar densities. And we found that as well. We did found, find that our the, the milk and the washing up liquid were sort of uh, blending a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they were. Mm, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so that's awesome. Thank you so much for all the photos. Uh, you sent so many in, actually. It filled <laughs> our inbox. Yes. <laughs> um, but we are going to really enjoy seeing your musical makes from today's show. We've been absolutely overwhelmed by the response to let's go live haven't we yeah. uh, and so much so that i can actually announce yesterday i did a bit of maths yeah. uh, and you lot are utterly incredible we have had over one million plays of <laughs> let's go live <sighs> oh i deserved a fact bomb nice and a, one million and an air horn i mean we... that's just absolutely incredible isn't it 
We really are so <laughs> proud of you. Honestly, we really, really are. Um, we're actually going to celebrate with a bit of a musical performance at the end of the show. So please stick around for that one. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Um, right. Before we start with the musical makes, let's answer a question. And mm-hmm. that question is, what is sound? Okay, well, if everybody just takes a moment, uh, maybe close your eyes if you want to, um, and and just have a listen. And you'll notice that there is sound absolutely everywhere. Right now, I can can hear the computer whirring. I can just about hear some birds chirping Mm. outside. What else can we hear? Sorry, I'm a bit hungry. Was that that your stomach gurgling? Oh, it's hungry. (laughs) Oh, I didn't eat half an hour ago. Oh. That's a sound effect. Um, But no matter what the sound is, all sounds start in the same way. And that is with something vibrating. Okay, so when something vibrates really, really fast, uh, it moves back and forward like this, really fast. It kind of wiggles. Uh, But sometimes those vibrations happen so quickly, we can't see them or tell they're even happening. Mm. However, there is one part of our body that can tell these vibrations, and that is our ears. But how does the sound of the whirring computer, the birds outside or Greg's hungry stomach get to my ears? How right. does that work? We can explain with the help of a bell. <laughs> hope that wasn't too loud. Uh, <laughs> and a classic slinky. Nice. All right, okay, so when I ding the bell, what's happening is there's a little uh, little hammer inside that goes and hits that that metal mm-hmm. uh, metal outside casing, and it makes that metal vibrate. It's actually right? a bit in the bell called a butt, by the way. <laughs> I just thought I'd tell you that. <laughs> Great. Uh, so it makes it jiggle, it makes it wiggle around, it makes it vibrate. And then that makes any of the air molecules around it vibrate as well. It bumps into them. And then those vibrating air molecules bump into the air molecules next to them, make them vibrate, bump into the next one. And that bumping, that wiggling, that passing on of that vib- vibration mm. goes all the way to your ear. Okay. Uh, let me show you with a slinky. Hold the slinky. Of course. So it's like doing this, right? make a bell, uh, make the noise, makes these air molecules, imagine these are air molecules, wiggle and vibrate, once one next to it, next to it like this. And I can show you this, Okay. like this. Ooh. Ooh. So if you look really closely, you can actually see um, the vibrations start here and then pass all the way through to here. Don't worry about the bounce back. So yeah, don't ignore, ignore the bounce back. Um, this passing on of the vibrations creates what we call a wave and sound is a wave and you can actually see that that wave go across mm-hmm. uh, and as many said don't worry about the bounce back and a sound wave has these shush, <laughs> it's cross at you now <laughs> a sound wave has these areas of uh, compression and decompression right as it kind of goes mm. through the air that kind of means squashed bits and unsquashed bits yes Okay, so exactly sound that. travels in a sound way. Also, as sound travels, it loses energy. Ah. So the further you away or uh, further away you are from the thing that started the vibrations, uh-huh. less of those vibration that wave gets to you, so it sounds quieter, or you just can't hear it at all. Ah, so that's why sounds far in the distance sound quieter to us. Yes, because ah, they run out of energy. Nice. All right then. So if a sound wave of vibrating air reaches your ears, um, it will set your eardrums vibrating. Mm. Okay, the wiggle that wiggles little bones inside your ear, they then vibrate the fluid. In your inner ear and that sends a message to your brain um, which then interprets it as a sound that you recognize. A sound we okay. recognize mm-hmm. or do we? Oh my goodness we got it. <laughs> <laughs> we just made that uncool by referencing it but never mind. I see what you did there because uh, Greg I can I can I can hear a, What's, uh... I can hear a quiz coming on. Oh there it is. It's a sound quiz. What do we do today? Wiggle like a sound wave? Oh, wiggle like ooh, wiggle like ooh, a sound that's wave. Dangerous. I look at this. Compressions and decompressions. <laughs> okay. okay. It's time for a quiz, guys. All right. It's time for a quiz. Some sounds are loud and annoying, and we might call those sounds noise. Uh, some sounds How dare you? <laughs> are arranged in such a way that we might call those types of sound music but then we also might hear one thing but actually think it sounds like something else sounds can be confusing Mm, so you know that i love sound effects 
right? Yeah. Uh, you might have noticed. <laughs> so if you ever listen to a story on the radio or if you uh, watch a nature documentary on the telly, then the sounds are added mm -hmm. to kind of give you a sense of atmosphere yeah. and make you feel part of the action and that yeah. you're actually there. Um, so, for example, Mads, you love the sound of... How loud does this need to be? That loud. Uh, you love the sound of uh, just going for a walk in the woods. Yeah. Right, you go. Yeah. Great. What are we listening to? So that is the sound of some, some walking boots crunching through leaves on an autumn day. <laughs> or is it? Hang on. Okay, so what actually is, is it, it then? <laughs> oh, throw throw that Actually, at me. Actually, it's uh, it's this. It's a plastic bag being scrunched, right? Oh. So it's scrunching a plastic bag. Listen to it once more. Here it is. Actually, the sound of a plastic bag being scrunched but it sounds like walking, walking through, through some leaves. crunching leaves okay. amazing so we actually call these type of sound effects foley it's a sound that we've made that we have created to sound like something else um, and today's quiz is going to be some foley fun okay yes. we're going to play you some sounds just like those crunchy leaves that sound like one thing, but has actually been made by something else. Mm. Okay, all right then. So why don't we, we've got six for you. Okay. Um, let's start with our first one. Just tell us in the live chat what you think made that sound. Ready? Okay, so what does this sound like? You play that once for? Yeah, sure can. So that sounds like birds flapping their wings, a bird taking off, I think. Got it. Nice. What actually is it though? What do you think it actually is? This what is what made the is? sound? <laughs> <laughs> rubber gloves. It sounds like wings flapping. It's actually just a bunch of rubber gloves being sort of waved backwards and forwards like that. Okay, you get the idea. Right, next one. Here's the next one. Uh, this is sound number two. Sounds like a clock. Four o'clock. Five o'clock. <laughs> yeah, it sounds but like a clock. What is making pressure. that clock sound? It is. What is it? <laughs> hey! It's, uh, it's a pizza cutter being <laughs> hit against a pan lid. Oh, brilliant. So I love these so much. Okay, what about this one? What does this sound like to you? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang okay, on. Okay, this is number three. So you might hear this if you're in the car. Okay. It sounds like windscreen wipers. It does. Yeah? But it's not windscreen wipers. No. What do you think it is? This is what it is. It's a dishwasher. So a dishwasher cycle actually sounds a little bit like car windscreen wipers. Okay, next one. This is number four. More of a classic, we could call this oh, one. This classic is foley. Foley classic. Like what does this. this sound like to you? Sounds like horse. What? Horse, horse hooves. hooves. Horse hooves. <laughs> sounds like horse. I sound like horse. <laughs> <laughs> but what actually made that sound was. Coconuts. Yeah. That is just two coconuts being sort of plopped together like this. Classic. Two more. Ready for number five? What's this one? Oh, that sounds like a piece of paper being ripped. Once yeah. more. But actually, that foley was created with a book. So all that's happened there is that you just opened up a book and blown through the pages a bit like this. And it sounds like paper tearing or ripping. Okay. <laughs> Last one. Last one. This yeah. is a very kind of like uh, comic-y kind of sound effect. Yeah, it's like a comedy sound effect, yeah. Comedy sound effect. That's it. Okay, here we go. Listen. And again. Uh, it's, a, it's like a, it's like a thwack. thwack. Thwack sound. Thwack. But what was it that made that sound? And it was. It's a clipboard. It's just the clip part of a clipboard just being just thwacked like that. So there <laughs> so you go. go. <laughs> oh, there you go. Uh, maybe have a go making your own foley sounds at mm -hmm. home. Yeah. Use something to make a sound that sounds like something else and see yeah. if you can uh, do a little quiz or or trick your uh, anyone else that's at home yeah. with you. Uh, grown ups, you could use the voice memos app or the voice record app just on your phone to, mm. uh, to do that. And next time you watch a nature documentary and you see some birds flying into the distance, you'll know that that may just be someone waving some rubber gloves in it's the just air. Just rubber gloves. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Right, it's time for our first make of the day. Yes. Uh, this is one where you can make your own sound. Now, mm -hmm. this is something that looks like something, 
but makes the sound of something else. So this it's like foley, it really. This is what it is. Uh, we call it a bee hummer. So here it is. Um, it looks like a bunch of recycled bits and pieces, but it sounds like... Ready? Yeah. Amazing. Mads. There's loads of bees coming. It sounds like a swarm of bees. Which is very apt for your uh, donga bees that you're wearing today. <laughs> How do you make it? If you would like to make your own bee hummer, you could use these following things. Um, so right here, I have got uh, a greetings card, just like this. Um, I've also got some string, a cork, an uh, elastic band, a lollipop stick and a hole punch. OK, so these are just some of the things you could use. Now, the first thing I did was take the lollipop stick and I placed it inside the crease of the greetings card. And then actually, I've already chopped the greetings card so it is the same length as the lollipop stick. OK, so once you've done that, you then want to close up the greetings card. And then with the opening of the greetings card facing towards you, you want to make a little hole, just one hole in the top left hand corner, just like this. All right. So there we go. We now have greetings card with one hole in it. There you go. So the next part I've actually already done in advance because you will need a grown up to help you. I used a bread knife to chop a cork in half. Not only did I chop the cork in half, but I then made uh, just made a slit in each of those cork halves, like so, just with one slice using a bread knife, just like that. Okay, so we're going to take those pieces of cork and we're going to just place them on the greetings card at the sides. One on that side, and then just using that slit, we are going to put the other one on like that. So now, this is what your bee hummer is looking like. It's taking shape. Okay, now you wanna get an elastic band. Uh, we find that sort of chunky elastic bands work best for this, but again, please experiment. Try your own things at home because different bands might make different sounds. So that just goes around the corks like that. And then finally, we've got a piece of string that you're just going to put through the hole that you made with the hole punch. And then you're going to tie that in a knot. And you are ready to go in just a second when I've tied a knot. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> like I thought that. I wouldn't show you on the close up tying a knot, feel the pressure. <laughs> and lots of people saying, uh, you know, something we want to repeat a lot mm -hmm. this week is that these, this is how we've decided to make all these yeah. different makes. You can absolutely try your own different versions of them, try mm -hmm. different materials, uh, be resourceful, see what you've got around, uh, make your own make your own versions. Right, so you've got one, I've dropped mine. I'm going to try, try and do this over here. Go on. Oh, ready? <laughs> Oh, that one sounds so good. Yeah, careful with these. Someone by the in way. the live chat said it sounded like a lightsaber. And actually, oh, that like really it. does sound like a lightsaber. Really? Look! <laughs> I'm trying to think of a Star Wars quote. Don't, don't want to give it away. Don't. Oh! We lost a it's bounce right. pad. Just a bounce pad. But that goes to show, please be careful. We're in a small space and so make sure you do this with lots of room. So when you spin this around carefully, <laughs> what happens is this elastic band here vibrates, right? Mm -hmm. And as we said, when something vibrates, it creates a sound. So it's that elastic band vibrating that creates a sound. Mm -hmm. Just like a, a guitar or a violin, and that's a string vibrating, making the sound. Yeah. Um, and you can actually play with these and try different designs, right? Yeah, so what will happen if you add elastic bands? Will that make a slightly different sound? What if you make the string longer or shorter, mm. or spin the bee hummer uh, faster or slower? What happens to the, to the sound it makes? Maybe try a smaller bit of card? Yes, yeah. actually. So here got I've one. got, yeah, Ooh, I've nice. got part of a, a bee hummer that I made earlier on today. And we can actually compare, if we compare it to this one to your one, Greg. Oh, hang on. Let me switch back to That's the okay. camera. That's all right. So they can see it. There okay, so this is, the, I've got one here and one here. And you can see that the red one is actually slightly shorter than uh, Greg's. So there you go. I'm going to just put the um, corks back on the side so I can okay. make this work. And what we'll do is we'll compare the sounds and see if they're different. Okay, so here's my... Got it. Okay, so that's quite a low hum, isn't ready it? Ready for yours? Okay, ready? I'm gonna yep, do this up here a bit. Oh, yours is higher. Yeah. I hope it's you different. can hear that, yeah. So low note, high note. And I think that's about the uh, the amount of the elastic band there, the length of the elastic band that's stretched and uh and vibrating. Okay. So we can create different sounds. We can create different notes. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've got a little classic make I want to show you. It's a classic, okay, but it's a right, great then. one, right? Okay. Uh, to show you how changing the size of something changes the note that's made. Okay. So let me change to this camera. So what do we need to do or what, what, what happens when a note is higher or lower? 
for okay. this, you need a straw, um, paper straw. And then you take some scissors and you carefully chop off the ends of the straw like this into a point, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, put it over my t-shirt so you can see it. There it is, like a point. Right, cool, perfect. Now what you need to do is you put your mouth over that uh, and try to... Oh, no. <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's a bit squeaky. <laughs> That's awful. Oh. Right, hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna use one I've made earlier. <laughs> awful. <laughs> Let me explain first what's happening, right? If you've ever seen a clarinet, <laughs> here's a clarinet, and it's got a clarinet has uh, one reed at the top. Uh, compare that to an oboe. An oboe has two reeds at the top. Uh -huh. And basically, what we've done here is we've made a straw version of an oboe. Okay. I'm gonna go one more go. <laughs> So what's happening is I'm I'm blowing over the uh, the, the reeds of what we're going to call a straw, a bow, straw bow, right? Love it. And it's making them vibrate and that's starting mm -hmm. a sound. And then what that's actually doing is making all the air inside the straw vibrate as well. Yeah, because as we know, sound travels in a sound wave, a wave of vibrating air. But listen to what happens when Greg cuts the straw bow shorter. So let's hear it long with its long version first. <laughs> Enough. Okay, please, please be careful if you do this at home because it does involve scissors. Definitely something you should do with a grown up. Yeah, okay? absolutely. But you could see that what happened was as Greg chopped the straw, as it became shorter, the sound was higher. Mm, that's because mm -hmm. there's less air vibrating. Yes. Basically, if you want to get nerdy, what happens is um, your sound wave goes down. It actually bounces off the open end. Mm -hmm. It comes back again and forms something called a standing wave. Uh -huh. But basically what happens is as you make it shorter, less stuff less air can vibrate so your sound wave your note goes up mm -hmm. so the shorter the wave the higher the sound okay but we've actually got a way that we can show this to you uh using a little app that we have downloaded this is called a uh, an oscilloscope app and we've connected it to the computer it's a really neat little bit of technology it's, it's a little, little gadget uh, that will show us the different waves that these sounds uh, are making yes. so why don't we just do it with voice actually okay fine um so this is so this <clears throat> is our live oscilloscope shall i start low yeah give me a low note first and let's see what those waves do <laughs> la oh, awful la uh... Not bad. All right, okay. let, me, let me zoom in a bit so we can kind of see what's going on. So what we want you to do is take a look at the spaces between those waves. How big are those spaces? Uh, and we'll start low and then mm -hmm. I'll sample it at different times as I go higher. All right, so, then. La. Oh, a bit loud. La. Okay, so you can see how far apart those mm -hmm. waves are, right? Now yeah. let's go high note. La, 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 la. <laughs> La, la, no one looks... la, la. All right. If you're still with us, thank you so much. I can't really see. <laughs> so what you might have care. noticed um, was just how the waves were changing to there being a bigger sort of space between each wave and a shorter space. Yeah. So as the note goes up, we mm -hmm. say the pitch goes up mm -hmm. or the frequency goes up because you have more waves bundled together. Exactly. Those waves get shorter as the note goes up. Okay, so the longer the wave, the lower the note, and the shorter the wave, the higher the note. And we call the highness or the lowness of a note pitch. Okay. The, li the live chat's just like laughing emojis. I got a few claps. I could, have, was... sung, I could have done it for you. Oh have... yeah, you can actually sing. Well, well yeah, I, you can. I dabble. You can sing really well. Okay, all right then. I can't. Okay, so cool. The thing is, we love the straw row, but as you've seen, it is a little bit tricky. And once you've chopped up the straw, even if it's a paper straw or a biodegradable straw, you can only use it once. And that's no fun. We want to show you how you can make instruments that you can use again and again and get lots of fun and play out of. So we're going to show you how to make something called Back the bit. water flute. Now, the thing with the water flute is it needs water. All right. So Maddie is going to uh, get our pre-made water flute and fill them with water. And while she does that, here's a video that we made to show you how we made ours. Here it is. To make a water flute, you could use a plastic bottle, a sealable freezer bag, sticky tape and scissors. Take your plastic bottle and use the scissors to carefully cut off the bottom. 
place the bottle inside the bag and seal it up. Fold the bag around the bottle so it's tight and use some sticky tape to hold it in place. Fill the bag and bottle with enough water so that it just touches the inside of the bottle and... You're ready to play some music. Do, 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 do. Hello, hello. I'm back. I'm back. Uh, well, I, was, I never left. Uh, but I have a water flute with water in it. Here's Maddie. <laughs> Uh, we, we made slightly bigger ones for you lot. Okay. So here we go. So uh, just a slightly bigger bottle, uh, a bit more strong kind of waterproof tape. And yes. there it is full of water uh, and, a, and a bowl because this is, this is going to make a myth. <laughs> <laughs> Should we show, the, show, show everyone how they work? Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. So all you need to do is blow over the top of the bottle like this. And then to change the pitch of the notes to make the note higher or lower, all you need to do is lift the bag up and down. Go for it. <laughs> Very good, hang on, I might be able to get a better note as mine's wait, lower, wait. ready? Go on. <gasps> that was great. Nice, I'm going again. I've got it. Oh. All right, so what you can see is that when Maddie yeah. lifts up, yeah, here we go, when Maddie lifts up that, uh, that full watery bag at the bottom, it pushes some of the water up uh -huh. into the bottle and that means there's actually less air in there to vibrate. It's the same with our straw bro of cutting a string. Very good. So just like the straw bow, the note is lower when the wave is longer. And that happens when there is a longer column of air for the wave to be made in. The note is higher. It's a higher pitch when the wave is shorter and there is less space for the uh, less air for the wave to be made in. And again, the same thing's happening. Cause of vibration, uh, sound goes down, bounces back up, forms this standing wave. But yes, less air to vibrate makes a higher frequency, a higher pitch note. It okay. works a little bit like a, a flute and a piccolo. Oh, no, These got, are water flutes. I've got a picture. But if you've ever seen a flute or a piccolo, you'll know that a piccolo is like a flute, but it's half the size. And because it's half the size, because the column of air inside that instrument is shorter, then you get a shorter wave, which means you have a higher note. Lovely. All right then. Um, so I think we've finally reached that time where we're going to do our musical performance. If yes. you lower it to here, Greg, it's a little bit easier. <laughs> I promise. We are going to attempt a, uh, a water flute performance of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Let's just get our notes. Let's Hang on. Let's just celebrate our, uh, our million plays. Yeah, okay. let's go I've live. got it. Okay. One, two, three. Oh no, oh, I'm awful. starting lower. There we go. Take a bow, take a bow. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. That was brilliant. These are so wow. much fun. Again, they take a bit of tinkering, but that's the great fun thing about this week. Um, lots of people saying that we need to do a selfie. We do, oh, um, we're doing it with water flutes? We should or do, do bee hummers. I'll do a water flute. You like spin the bee hummer. Oh, that's that was risky. That? You know what happened last time? Right, okay, okay I've got so the bee hummer. Lot, it's the final uh, awkward selfie of the, of the ma Mini Makers Week. Okay, hang on. <sighs> okay then, ready everyone? I'm gonna do it, try but do it back here. Okay. Okay. Three, Three two, two, one. one. It's the awkward selfie. I can't do that whilst, whilst doing this. It's oh. The, oh, that's the camera. One more, ready? It's the wall, it's the okay. awkward selfie. <laughs> Brilliant. Let me reiterate once again, please do this in a larger space than we've got here in the studio. <laughs> Oh, those are uh, that's us on Twitter and Instagram. If yeah. you want to share your pictures with us, we always love we always love seeing them and uh, and seeing you lot watching the show. Towards the end of the show, we love to show a couple more of your photos and videos. Uh, let's see some photos of more of your makes from yesterday's float episode. Uh, this is Noah and Polly. Noah used recycled bottles instead of tubs to make uh, their boats, which took a bit of adjusting. Uh, but eventually, they got it working with different size paddles. This is Samuel and Clara with their density column. Look at that. Uh, honey, golden syrup, milk, washing up liquid, coloured water and vegetable oil. This is Harriet who used a milk carton to make her paddle boat. Uh, she made it look like a very fancy yacht. That looks wicked. Doesn't it? Yeah, nice. Uh, this is Sasha who wanted to test whether adding different food colouring to the water would change its density. Uh, she also experimented with how salt would affect the density, which is really good. This is Archie, who made his own paddle boat and called it the HMS Archie. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, now we've got time for a couple more of your videos. Uh, this first video is uh, came in from Elena. Now notice her boat design. She used squash bottles. Ooh. Indeed. 
I uh, love how you use those bottles to help balance the boat. That's such a wonderful idea. Um, next up, we've got Meredith and Finn. They launched their boats in the bath. Uh, take a look at theirs. My name, mine's called the G. Mine's called the Ravy. We're ready. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh, collision. Whee! They used um, transparent boxes so they could actually put their little Lego passengers inside where they'd be safe. We love the idea. Um, and then last uh, but not least, we've got Matthew and his paddle boat. Here's Matthew. Hopefully it works. <laughs> so good what a great celebration we love that so much thank you so much um we're so touched watching seeing all these videos and photos and stuff on on social media and links to all the makes that we've made today and throughout the week are always in the video description of each video right in the description box of each video Um, and also there are downloadable pdfs made by our lovely friends at the life science center in newcastle um who have suggested uh, a lot of these makes this week Uh, they have helped us put together an absolutely cracking week of shows uh what we particularly love is that not only have you been building and sort of uh, making along with us but you've been tinkering and really playing with your makes as well often with the whole family and that means the world to us and the people at life as well so yeah, thank it really you does. Um, Friday thank yous we always like to do a uh, mm-hmm. big thank you to the whole team at life especially Ellie McLaren uh, Josh Ansell Danny Stones and of course Ellen Roberts who without whom none of this week would have happened so thank you all uh, yeah. thanks, Ellen. and also thank you to our patrons who support the show over on Patreon you your generosity means we can support a small, wonderful team who make Let's Go Live happen. So thank you to Rob for the design work, yep. Kaylee for her ideas uh, and all of her words, Kalyani for lots of production support, and Ed the editor. Most important, though, of everything is thank you. Thank mm-hmm. every single one of you who's watching live and watching back. I can't believe one million views. I, eh? But that's just one million devices as well, one million screens. So if there's more of you watching one screen, that could be a higher number. We could double epic. it. We oh, could. Oh, wow. Um, yesterday, we announced uh, next week's theme, and that is oceans but we also let you know that we're going to take next week off Uh, we just need a bit of a break to do other work and life stuff Um, i might get a haircut oh am i gonna have to do that possibly okay that'll go on instagram don't worry um uh, but so oceans is going to kick off at 11 a.m on the 11th of may easy to remember uh while we're away there are 28 half hour episodes that you could go back and watch uh maybe you've missed some of gardens or uh bodies space dinosaurs project earth or indeed mini makers um what's been your favorite episode we could point them towards matt Honestly, I love them all, but a highlight will be you pretending to be a dung beetle in episode 23. Brilliant. Yeah, what about uh, you? Your reaction on episode five, the end of Garden Week, when you put a wildlife camera in oh. our garden and what we managed to capture footage yeah. of, that was super we saw cool. We the jack deer, that was so good. Um, um, explore the YouTube channel as well. Yeah, loads of videos there of, of our adventures all around the world, pre-lockdown, so we'd love you to go take a look at those. Um, also, please do use your new maker skills over the weekend and throughout the week. Uh, go back, do some of our previous builds and activities, and we cannot wait to see what you come up with. We're very proud of this community. Thank you. Um, let's just say a quick goodbye to some of you that are in the live chat then uh who have we got Matt? uh we have oh we've got kian is there we've got sam in derby um we've got oliver in birmingham we've got jenny in the usa jeannie from the usa yep. wow emily and harry in lancashire lyle and liam in aberdeen hello jesse and wallacey uh, Katie from Milton Keynes. Um, Avantika from India. Hello. Kira from Newcastle. Uh, Emily and Olivia in Derby. Uh, Jacob in Cambridge. <sighs> oh, crikey. Thanks so much. This has been an amazing week. We've All really right enjoyed then. it. Uh, we better say goodbye. Yes, we will see you Monday the 11th at 11 a.m. And as always, please do stay curious. Yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Sorry, you've got to say that again. You've always got to say that last. Stay curious. Nice. We will see you uh, Monday the 11th at 11. <laughs> Bye. Bye.